This is a book called Heaven by Nicholas Allen. A poignant, heartwarming story for everyone who has ever owned a pet. I got this book for my husband when our dog died and I think it gave him some comfort. I hope it gives you some comfort. Heaven by Nicholas Allen. Early one morning, Lily woke up to find Dill, the dog, packing. Where are you going, she asked. Up there, said Dill. Can I come too? Er, not yet, said Dill. But I want you to play. I'll be late, said Dill. Late for what? I'm being collected. Why can't I come too? You have to be invited, said Dill. Who invited you? asked Lily. Us, said the angels. Does Dill have to go now? asked Lily. Now, said the angels. Can't he stay just ten minutes? Well, five minutes, said the angels. Will you be away, away long? asked Lily. <coughs> A long time, said Dill. But you might not like it up there. I will like it up there. You might not, though. Of course I'll like it. It's heaven, isn't it? Might not. What, what do you think it's like, then, up there? Nice, said Dill. Yes, but what it, what's it like? What do you think it's like? Well, said Lily, in heaven there's a fun fair where all the rides are free and you're never sick once. So that's Lily's idea. And there's a whole island made of chocolate with ice cream clouds and sweets and caves. And the sea is made of Coke. And you can eat all you want and you're never sick once. No, 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 said Dill. It's not like that at all. Well, what is it like then? Bones, said Dill. Bones? Bones all over the place. And not just ordinary bones. These have bits of meat on them, every one of them. And there are lampposts, hundreds of them, and whiffy things to smell on the ground. Because that's what dogs like, right? So that's heaven. Yuck, said Lily. Bones, lampposts, whiffy things. Doesn't sound like heaven to me. Nevertheless, that's what heaven's like. How do you know, said Lily. How do you know it's not, said Dill.
Well, if it is, I wouldn't want to go there. Don't worry, you're not invited anyway. Wouldn't want to go there anyway. Wouldn't want you there, thanks. Now they're having a little argument here, but it's really based in the fact that they know they're going to miss one another, right? Anyway, you might not go up, you might go down, said Lily. Down, said Dill. Down, said Lily. But I've always been a good dog, said Dill. What about that time that you stole the chicken? Well, apart from that, said Dill. What about the time you bit Aunt Julia? Well, apart from that, said Dill. What about the time you, all right, I've tried to be a good dog, okay? Humph, said Lily. <laughs> he left something on the carpet that he shouldn't have there, huh? Time, said the angel. I guess that was five minutes, huh? Lily walked home and went back to bed. When she woke up, it was late. She ran downstairs and saw Dill's basket. And his bowl and his scratches on the door and his lead and his yucky wet tennis balls. She was very sad. Lily thought things would never be the same again. But one day she met a stray puppy. She took him home and then began to remember all that Dill had said. She took the puppy for a walk and found a street full of lampposts and withy things. And when they got home, she gave him lots of bones, all with bits of meat on them. He must think he's in heaven already, thought Dill. And for those of you who have lost a pet because the pet died, I'm sorry. I know it's hard. And I hope that you heal soon. <laughs>